Hey friend, Hector here from StrongestTech.com in this week's Movement Monday for the week. I'm going to be taking you through one of our movement flows that is part of our four week transition phase program. So what is a transition phase? Basically, you know, after coming out of a, a pretty tough eight to 12 week training program, whether that's with double kettlebells or even with like say the barbell deadlift, uh, what can happen over the course of those eight to 12 weeks is you can start to develop asymmetries. Uh, because you're symmetrically loaded and if maybe if one glute isn't firing or maybe you're not getting the activation out of one of your lats or something like that, um, you can start to develop some compensations and they won't necessarily um, kind of come to the surface simply because of the fact that you'll be, asymmet you'll be symmetrically loaded whether it's like double pressing or even double front squatting or deadlifting, etc. So um, a transition phase program is usually um, focused around single kettlebell uh, mobility, strength training, etc along with some very specific uh, body weight mobility exercises. So I'm going to be taking you through one of the uh, kettlebell flows that, we, that I, we take our students through for this four week transition phase. So I'm just going to kind of go right into it and uh, I'll, I'll talk a little bit of kind of what I'm focusing on and what I want you to focus on as you're going through this uh, movement, uh, what we call a recharge. And I'll put all of the details in the description below. So I'm going to do this on one side and you'll basically go through and you'll perform this on both left and right sides and I'll go through some more details here as soon as I'm done but I'm just going to kind of go through the movement and uh, I'll explain a little bit of what it is that I'm doing um, as I go through the sequence so um, kettlebell sizes you'll want to go pretty light with this so uh, ladies I recommend you use anywhere from eight kilos up to maybe 12 kilograms uh, gentlemen, you'll start with like a 16 kilo and work your way up to uh, probably a 24. Um, you may even want to start with a 12 and work your way up to a 24 because you're going to be under tension um, for quite a bit of time. So we want to make sure that we can maintain um, integrity under the load, right? We don't want to be creating compensations. We actually want to iron, you know, iron those compensations out that we may have made over the course of an eight to 12 week uh, training cycle with a pair of kettlebells or even uh, the barbell deadlift. So um, I'm going to be using a medium sized bell. This is a 24. Um, and I'm going to use this again. Goal is to be able to maintain integrity under the load. So if at any point it becomes too taxing, for you um, and you can't maintain uh, good posture as you're going through these movements you're going to need to go down a probably a kettlebell size uh, to make sure that you can uh, complete this from the beginning to the end so I'm going to get right into it and uh, I'm going to let you know how all this is going to go down so you're going to start in the sideline get up position and then you'll press Roll to the elbow is normal, okay? So from this elbow, we're gonna go through a series of movements here. So for one is I'm gonna do a press. And when I do this press, I wanna make sure that I maintain my forearm vertical, okay? Now from here, I'm gonna bridge from my elbow. And what I'm doing here is I'm focusing on extending through my glute. Okay, I'm actively driving the floor away from me with my elbow and I'll do a few head rolls here just to clear my neck out and make sure there's no tension in my neck. Then I'm going to come up to my palm. From here I'll go through another press. Again, make sure the forearm stays vertical. Press. And now I'm going to bridge from this position. Okay, really focusing on driving through my glute to open up my hip. Sweep under, and from here I'm going to come out of my windmill by hinging, sitting back towards my heel, getting my body weight up under the bell, and then coming up. Okay. From here I'm going to go into a crooked arm bar. My palm is going to turn slightly towards my face, and now I'm going to simply windmill out to my side. Okay. From here, I'm now going to go through a bent press by wedging under the bell, and the goal is to achieve the lockout before my elbow touches the floor.
come up. And I'm going to repeat this again, except this time I'm going to do a little bit more of a, of a corkscrew. So I'm going to rotate Come up, and now I'm simply going to step back through. There you have it. That is one side. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. I don't want to be walking around in circles, right? getting more mobile and stronger on one side and not doing it on the other side. So I'll go ahead and walk you through um, this, uh, this left side. But pretty much everything's going to stay the same. Okay. Again, you want to make sure you can choose a bell um, that you can perform on both sides, obviously. And what I want you to focus on when you're going through this, this little flow is make note of any asymmetries. And I'm not just talking about like mobility-wise. Make note of any asymmetries like strength-wise. Maybe, um, maybe it's harder to maintain uh, structural integrity when you're going through whatever specific bell is. Maybe the right side is like completely 100% awesome and the left side you either have a movement restriction or maybe it's a strength um, a strength limitation. So make notes of how your body is moving, okay? And then from there, you may need to back down a bell size or maybe just spend a little more time um, on the left than the right or the right than the left, you know? Spend a little more time through some of those movements. Come back and you're just gonna continue to go through this little sequence for about five to 10 minutes. Or you just keep going until your body's told you that you've had enough. So you wanna really wanna get in tune with your body and basically listen to when your body wants you to back off, okay? So I'm gonna do the other side. All the movements, all the movements are gonna be the same. Roll to press. Okay. Okay, I've got my press from the elbow. Bridge, clear my neck. Press. Okay, from here I've got my crooked arm bar. Windmill to my side. And then I'm gonna get right back down. There you have it, friend. That is a little sequence that's going to really help iron out any asymmetries that you may have developed over the course of a training program. So if you're coming off of a double kettlebell program or even a barbell program, this is going to be a great little um, transition um, movement recharge to get your body ready for the next training program that you may go into. So uh, this is just one of the movement recharges. We have a couple of them that we'll be presenting later on. And, uh, but this is something you'll go through over the course of about four weeks to kind of really help to, for one, for recovery. Two, it's gonna prevent you from overtraining. And also, it's gonna iron out any of those asymmetries that you may have developed over the course of the last you know, two, two to three months. So give that a try. Let us know how it goes. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, leave it in the comment section below. Like I said, in the detailed uh, description, we will have all of the movements that I just went through step by step, and you'll basically repeat these on both left and right sides. Make note of any asymmetries, whether it's strength um, or mobility, 
make note um, uh, of any of those asymmetries that, that may present themselves, okay? So um, that's all I got for you guys this week. If you're enjoying these videos as always, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you can stay up to date with all of the, the latest cutting edge information with for kettlebells, barbells, and even body weight training. So uh, in, inside the description, there's a lot more free resources from our blog that you can, that you can check out. So that's all I got for you guys this week. Again, I'm Hector with strongasthec.com in this week's Movement Monday episode.